Back in Los Angeles, getting ready for the main event. Sean Porter back in the ring, first time since his big fight with Errol Spence, taking on Sebastian Formella. Here is the tale of the tape. Both men are in their early 30s. Formella is the taller fighter, as you would expect, five foot nine. Porter, though, a uh, five foot seven bulldozer in constant motion, great engine, tremendous strength, slight reach advantage for Formella. He will be moving in this ring. He is a boxer mover, and he'll be doing a lot of moving against Sean Porter, who brings it. Ready to go. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles, premier boxing champions presents the featured bout of the evening brought to you by TGB Promotions and Sean Porter Promotions in association with EC Boxing and sponsored by GEICO, MGM Resorts, and uh, Brooklyn uh, Boxing. This bout of the ring is sanctioned by the WBC, the President Mauricio Suleiman, along with the IBF, the President is Daryl Peoples. Judging this bout from ringside, we have Dr. Lou Moret, Patrick Russell, and Zachary Young. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBC Silver N and IBF Welterweight World Title Eliminator. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Los Angeles, it's time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner. Entering the ring tonight wearing blue trunks with multinational trim. Originally from Lauenburg, Poland, now fighting out of and representing his home of Hamburg, Germany. He weighed in at 146 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 22 wins, no losses. 10 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making his PBC and U.S. debut, here is the undefeated world rank contender, introducing Sebastian Hoffenbosti Formella. <laughs> and his opponent across the ring on my right, he is fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing multicolor trunks, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Cleveland, Ohio. He weighed in at 146 and one half pounds. His record stands at 30 wins, three losses and one draw, with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the highly respected and acclaimed two-time welterweight champion of the world, introducing Showtime, Sean Porter. And a referee in charge, now to give instructions, we have Jack Reese. That is the center, right here. Face me, please. Oh, facing me. Come here. Come here. Facing me. Come here. Where, where is he, man? Right here, brother. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Okay. They're right here now, but they were a little bit above. Same thing. If they start, uh, they're right. They're good right now. If they start coming up, the line is right here. Okay. I give you both instructions in the dress room. I just want to remind you, please listen and follow my instructions. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck to both of you. Jack Reese has been the referee for the last two fights for Sean Porter, the fight with Spence and the fight before that with your Dennis Fugas. And he is a big favorite here tonight, Sean Porter. If you bet $100 on the favorite, Porter would win $7.10, the payout 107.10. If you bet $100, not much of a payout. If you bet $100 on Formella and he wins, well, you'd win $650, the payout 750, according to Fox Bet. So Jack Reese is the referee and Joe Goose and Lennox Lewis, I think Formella's got to establish some respect here early. I know he moves, but does he have enough of a stick or a right hand to keep Sean Porter at bay? I'll tell you this. Look, Formella is a good, slick boxer. He's he's not a terrible fighter at all. It's just Sean Porter has fought so many, so much better competition. But Formella is no pushover. Believe you me, he'll touch you back if you leave openings for him. Porter already going with the jab as a good jab there by Formella to establish that. Formella telling us, I, I have to move around, I have to make it a technical fight, but he does want to land like an early right hand or an uppercut just to let Sean Porter know he can't just march in and bum rush him. Well, if you saw, he just, Formella just turned off the ropes, 
left Sean Porter hanging out and just touched him with the right hand as he turned out. So this is what he can do. Is it hard? Is it effective? Is it going to hurt Sean? Probably not. But he can be a real, a real <laughs> nuisance. Yeah, Sebastian Formella there just again jab to the body, jab to the head. That's a sophisticated it's, move. Your thoughts early on here, Lennox? Yeah, I was surprised at the size. You know, yeah. for once, uh, Porter's got somebody's size he can box with. And uh, he's, he's choosing to box when he's just in the first round, just trying to figure him out. New guy. He wants to see how tough he is, so he's putting him up against the ropes right stop, now. Stop, stop, stop. Able to now, just now, get box. out of the way from that right hand. Porter jumping in with the lead jab and then a right hand right behind it, just buzzing the chin of Formella, but he's experienced <laughs> enough to get out of the way. Exactly. See, and you called it there, Bri, because this is one thing when we watch the tapes, Lennox and I watched it last night, we go, boy, he keeps his chin up a little bit, but he's got this uncanny ability to kind of escape it just by a hair, like you said. And he flicks out a right hand there as he makes his move out, just as you mentioned earlier, Joe, able to make subtle moves there, body shot, and good attack there from Sean Porter to the body. Ooh. See that double jab right hand there, Brian just landed. Ooh. With a, a good opening and a good jab there, but a good opening two minutes for Sebastian Formella just to establish himself. And I would think also Lennox just to get his heart rate down in the biggest fight of his life, right? Yeah, I mean, looking at Porter for one second, that powerful left jab that he that he just threw, he stepped into it. Mm -hmm. And he's used to doing that because he's, he needs to step stop, into stop. those Nobody punches punch. to push the guy against the ropes. Formella fell sh just Thank short there with the right hand, Thank but a nice jab, right hand, straight up the middle, again, well schooled. Classic boxer, body shot there, right hand, right to the waistband by Sean Porter. See, Formella's going to have to do this all night long because Porter is going to be doing this all night long. So. You stop, know, stop, you got to be stop. in great shape. I, I will say, Formello like was very Listen. calm and collected stop coming out to this uh, fight. And that is a decent first round for the challenger Time. here. Well, again, there's not a, a, a title at stake, but basically, <laughs> Sean Porter is a championship-level fighter, so <laughs> exactly. Formella doing a, a good job. Tonight's corner cam is sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance. You, you got to be working you need. Let's go into the corners first, and listen second, in. Third combination. Right there, Mike. He leans in with his head, so he will touch your head. Remember that. Put your combination together. Feign him. Put your combination together. Step over. Put your combination together. You're waiting for something. There's no reason to wait for it. Okay. There's no reason to wait for your team. Just rough this dude up. Let's not go out of here with no nothing on us, okay? Okay. When you got him and he steps out, go get him again. Okay. He's just going to tie you up. He ain't going to fight you. Okay. And here you see Porter winding up and throwing a great body punch, but it got blocked. And here's another one. Now the job that I like. Powerful, stepped right into it, pushed it right back. Blocking those body shots, though, early on. Again, those are not scoring shots if you're blocking them, although they probably hurt. <laughs> I, I would think if Sean Porter is whacking you, and even if you block it, you feel it. Round number two, Sean Porter and Sebastian Formella. Formella, again, is now a citizen of Germany. Has the Let him out, Sebastian. That's you holding, German Sebastian. German emblems there on his trunks. A about. decent first round. And Joe Goosen, you know what I mean, right? And I, I know he's a challenger. He's looking for the championship of Sean Best Porter. Exactly. Go. This this is like a championship fight for Formella. That's for damn sure. But I got to tell you something. You heard Kenny Porter, what he told Sean. He said, Sean, go out there and rough this dude up. You know, he doesn't want him waiting around trying to figure him out. So it's he's doing that stop, right stop, now. Stop. Got him up against the ropes. Turn Formella around. battles back. Formella Box. told us, hey, I've been in fights where guys were on, you know, the full attack. And I've been able to fight back. And then by the end of the rounds, uh, I'm left the one who's go. moving forward. So he he's said, out, I'm a tough guy as well. Yeah, it's but you got to remember, stop, stop. he's been boxing and sparring good against wrestling. Ugas. Ugas is the guy that throws the body punches. And he's a tough guy, too. So if you can survive against Ugas, awesome. you can survive. Up, yeah, Ugas, a top 10 welterweight. We're going to see him in a few weeks. And he was in camp with him. Formella was in camp uh, initially in Germany, then went to Turkey in 96 degree heat. Then went from Turkey to Las Vegas where I think it's like 170 degrees right now, Joe, isn't it? I mean, so he's ready for heat at the very least. That's about the temperature of the inside of my gym right now in the valley. So 
No big deal. Uh, it was 114 in the Valley, by the way, last uh, at the what? beginning of this week. So yes. I'm not really kidding yes. when I say yes. it was about 130 in there. But now, yes. right now, yes. uh, landed there yes. by yes. Porter, and now he goes to yes. work on the body. Just yeah. excellent body work and an, an you know, uppercut to boot from Sean Porter to punctuate. Yes. Ooh, boy. Hard jab there by Formella, but a right hand coming over the top. Yeah. Porter falls short with the right hand again. But you, you get the feeling that Porter makes this rough. I mean, where can Formella go? Yeah, and, and see, that's it. that that right hand just barely missed Formella if Sean starts closing that gap a little bit and landing that. That yeah. that could be very dangerous for Formella. But I, I will say one thing is that Formella is is he's at least holding his own in a certain degree here. Lennox? Yeah, no, I was going to say Sean stop, Porter stop, stop, stop. always throws that right hand a little bit right? looping. Yeah. If he threw it a little bit straighter, he would have more success. Yeah, I, look, I don't think that you could argue that. It's just that right now he's got to close that distance to the right. Just when he, you know, with that perfect distance, Lennox, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, right? uh, you know, he has nothing really stopping him. It's not like Formella has a powerful jab stopping him. So he can do what he wants. And that jab just Polak's Formella just kind of took him back off his feet. Not really a, a stinging jab, but just actually drove him back. That jab is just ramrod straight by Sean Porter. Yeah. Hook on the way out by Porter. Formella tries to answer with a right hand. Sebastian Formella having an interesting week, making his U.S. debut here tonight. It was with a broadcaster on Wednesday. Yeah, I meet Lennox Lewis. It was sort of a surprise for me when he came in in the conference, and I look at him and I say, wow, that's very, that was very surprised for me. I was so proud that somebody like him would comment the fight and stay for me. It's very cool. And it, the first reaction was, whoa, if somebody see it on Instagram, I look at very surprised. Somebody uh, like Lennox Lewis talked to me, it was very cool. I love it. Hey, Lennox, when I win tonight, you will make a picture with me? <laughs> <laughs> Lennox, you'll do that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is fun. And Lennox is, of course, very humble. But it's fun, Joe, when we, we say, oh, hi, when we're on these calls, virtual calls. And right. We say, hi, right. it's me. Hi, it's me. And then, hi, it's Lennox Lewis. And Sebastian Formello said, wow. Yes, like the first one. Right, right, wow. right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, come on. All right, let's go. Second down. No, it happens to Lennox Sean. all the time, Brian, all Sean. the time. Listen, listen, I got plenty of fans Please. in Germany yeah. and in Poland, so yeah. there you go. And you handle it with a plum, Lennox. Round number three, main event, Sean Porter, Sebastian Formella, Formella out of Germany. This is the fight of his life, a possible career-defining bout in over his head, stepping up in class, but really battling himself nicely here staying in the fight doing his very best and, and creating a bit of a puzzle for sean porter yeah and look he just tried to sneak in a nice little right hand off a jab against sean porter from ella did and you know he's not he's landing himself a little bit here and there but they're very sneaky you got to keep an eye on how he does it he's he's a very sneaky puncher <laughs> Yeah, what he's doing is he's, he's just waiting for Porter to come in before he throws that jab. He shouldn't really be a lot more busier with it because Sean Porter is not really known for a jabber, and Sean is j out jabbing, jabbing him right now. Yeah, I think his, his jab looks the best uh, that I can recall. Joe, what do you think of that with Porter's jab as he jumps in with a hook to the body? Well, again, it depends on who who's in front of you when you're jabbing. Um, so, you know, Formella has been susceptible to Sean's jab, but... You know, uh, you know, again, Formel has been landing his jab as well. It's not as hard as as Sean's jab, but he's landed it every so often. Look, uh, right. he, he's got to be, yep. he's, he's fighting on pins and needles right now, Formella, because Sean is very threatening looking right now. Porter landed 18 jabs in the first two rounds, so he's able to throw it, lands a right hand there. Formella just missing with his right hand. You see the body shots widely in favor of Sean Porter, which you would expect. Yeah, Formella landed actually a little short right hand left hook two times off that little sequence on the ropes there. They're just really sneaky and they're not powerful, but they do land. You know, yeah. we were talking about Mike Tyson earlier uh, in the night, and it, it's just like you know you're going against Tyson. Stop, stop, stop. Of course, but the early days of Tyson. Like and I'm not saying Sean okay? Porter is Tyson, but when, when, you like Tyson, but when, when you get hit by that type of, of weight and velocity and strength, it's just got to feel different. You know yeah. it's coming, you know he's very strong, but I would imagine in the ring, when you get hit by Porter, it's just got to be like, whoa, what was that? No, you're right. It's a surprise because you're not expecting him to be so hard hitting or heavy handed. 
Yeah. That's a beautiful right hand after a double jab. Porter now. Yes, look at this. Up on his toes. And this yeah. box is a See, this is body this, combination. This, this is Porter boxing. He looks great when he boxes. I love it. That was a sick this, jab, this. too. Beautiful jab by Porter. Moves in, jabbing this, this. the body and the head. This is a beautiful boxing display by Showtime Porter. This. What Sean's doing right now is he's getting into a rhythm, and he's got that bounce and that rhythm going right now, which is keeping Formello a little off on edge because he doesn't know if he's coming or going. And he is trying things. Nice right hand by Formella. Able to sneak that in after Porter did just did a, a nice little Tyson-esque spring to the side earlier in this round. Outstanding round by Porter. So we've got back-to-back -back weeks after this week, and Sean Porter and Sebastian Formella in our main event here tonight. So all from Los Angeles, all here without fans, but in the PBC bubble, and we've seen all these fighters look very sharp. And I'll say this, Joe Goosen, Lennox Lewis, uh, Sean Porter on his toes looks like next level Sean Porter. Well, you know, again, he, he's an experienced veteran, and you, you, he's got all the tricks he needs. If he needs to show some rhythm, he can do it. If he needs to get in there and muscle you, he can do it. If he needs to back up and box, he can do that. These are the things you learn when you have 30, you know, some odd fights and fought the quality of opposition that he has. But again, and, then, but to, and to the point, though, Joe, yeah. saying that, hey, he's, he's done well and he's earned so much respect. But in losses, is there another level for Sean Porter where maybe those losses to the highest level are no longer losses, but Sean Porter wins? Exactly. I, I agree because he's top shelf right now. He's, you know top five right now and uh, every fight that he's lost he's learned something from it he knows what to do in there you know he's, he's a he's a he's, go, he's, he's a great around. professional right now he's got a lot of experience behind him he knows what to do in, in certain situations he's been up against movers all the time and this guy is on his bike now moving out of the way and uh, showing a little bit of the wear and tear it's just that on his toes he's not only boxing beautifully he's able to get his feet in position and land hard thudding shots and there's a good right hand from porter that yeah, was a nice counter right hand formella though about 30 seconds earlier was backing up porter i'm sure you saw that and look right there he throws these little kind of shots before he gets out he closes his guard up really well you know, this is wh why he's a distance fighter for Mella. He's, he, you see him get underneath that right hand. He's got good radar. And, you know, look, he, he could string this fight out for a while. You know, if not go the distance, it's not an impossibility. I just don't think he's got the power to hurt Sean and to really get his respect. It's a good jab, but he ate a right hand as well for Mella. Look, I think, Joe, I'm with you. Formella is working as hard as he can, yeah. making the most of what he has in there. Good uppercut by Porter. He's just in against not just a, a top five welterweight, but an inspired top five welterweight who is looking to go to the next level. And, and, right. and we are Stop. only in the fourth Stop. round, so we have a guys? long way to go. Step away from each other. And then what you got to remember as well, you know, Porter's being first out there, you know, and Famella needs to be first. He needs to throw the first punches, but, you know, Porter's doing that. He's being a boxer right now. Well, I think I think Formella is a counter puncher by nature. I think he he lets you make the first move and he tries to block, slip, and then counter you. That was a good jab by Formella right there. Final seconds as the output finally on the wane and Sebastian Formella again got high level sparring from your Dennis Ugas. And put it out on his Instagram. <laughs> and in case you don't, Joe, how's your German? Can you translate? Uh, yeah, it says uh, make pay money order to Joe Goosen and Van. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. We'll, we'll translate for you. And he said, "You look intensive weeks in Turkey." He said the days in the U.S. Uh, in a flash, and also got in a lot of rounds with your Dennis Ugas. And Ugas uh, was very competitive. Lost a split decision to Sean Porter. So he said he was grateful for that, and he said uh, Ugas gave him some tips as to how to battle against Porter. Uh, he would not let us know what those were, but he said he learned an awful lot. Now, that's got to help, because at least you're in there with the highest level, uh, though against Porter, he's just a, a, a different guy altogether. Yeah? Yeah, but you never know if uh, what uh, Ugas told him, if he's actually doing it. Yeah, being told something and bit? actually carrying it out are two it's, different things. Right, right. I'll tell you, round four was the first round that Formella out jabbed Sean Porter, 11 to 10. So not by a wide margin, certainly, but he's able to at least get into this fight.
Uh, I just think Porter has looked fantastic as he gets up on his toes, but Sebastian Formella doing his best and making a good effort here. I don't know if he's winning rounds. We can go to Marcos Villegas and find out. Is Marcos there? Marcos, you there? Yeah, Brian, uh, so far, you know, I have it all Sean Porter at this point of four rounds to zero. You know, he's doing actually really, really well when he's fighting in the mid-range. I, I think a lot better than he was uh, in the close range with Formella. The, the other thing that I'm seeing here is when Formella lands a punch, I don't think it's as damaging as when Sean Porter lands a punch, and that could really sway the judges if he's landing these punches here, and, and Sean's landing maybe one or two that sound and look bigger. Oh, no question, and that matters too. Good combination there by Formella. That really is able to land another scoring shot by Formella, but he's eating shots as well, yeah. and that, it's professional prize fighting. Joe, that's supposed to matter. Like, how hard you're hitting the guy matters. Well, yeah, especially in the pros. I mean, that accounts for a lot in the pros as opposed to the amateurs, where if you put your hands on a guy a lot, that really wins you fights as opposed to you know, one big shot, even if you're losing the round, uh, can win you the round if you land that one big shot. So that, What do you think of that exchange yeah. just a moment ago? That was an interesting exchange, wasn't it? Both guys letting it fly. There's, yeah, exactly. And, and the thing is, for Mello, like I said, he's got great radar, so he, he somehow manages not to take the full impact of big shots and then tries like there. He took a shot and then countered with a left hook right there. He snuck in a right hand right there, a little another choppy right hand so he does things like that to keep him in the game he's just not moving around pull doing nothing out of it. come on both of you guys pull and away from each other that stop, jab stop, from stop. porter as well Turn nicely around. done a lot of good uh, nuanced veteran moves by sebastian formella in the blue trunks this is able to battle here against one of the top welterweights in the world. I don't know if he's won a round yet. Marcus Villegas, but this is not big, so it's unlikely. But he's making a good account of himself. Now backing up Porter on the attack. Yeah, Porter's doing a good job right now of uh, imposing his will on Sebastian. And, uh, you know, his dad told him to, you know, throw great shots out there, but it's better quality over quantity. Take this shot. But he is being relentless. Yeah, well, that's it. You, the first you, time he spun away. You just, you just said it. Bro. This is only the fifth round, and Sean's really all over him right now. And and and, and uh, Formella better be in the greatest shape he's ever been in because he's still got a long haul here. But again, Sean's backing up a little bit, gives him a, gives himself a little breather, and Formella takes advantage of that. Uh, but again, Formella is like there, right there, double jab right hand. He landed that. It's just not very effective, and it's not going to deter Sean. <laughs> Porter getting after it now in the final seconds here of round number five. Ooh. Game effort by Formella having his moments, but Sean Porter just very, very tough tonight. All new Friday Night SmackDown this week, 8 Eastern, 7 Central on Fox. Here, our main event, top five welterweight Sean Porter, former welterweight champion of the world, with an outstanding performance so far, but against a very game Sebastian Formella of Germany, making his United States debut. Jordan Plant has been listening and down on the floor. She's in a zone A, as they call it, right next to the ring. Jordan, what are you hearing? Yeah, you guys, um, Kenny Porter is instructing Sean to just keep applying that pressure. And besides him landing shots, you guys, his presence pressure is so intense that Formella is not only physically getting worn down, but mentally. And when a guy's getting mentally worn down, his fundamentals start to go. And I don't know if you guys notice every time Formella jabs, he's dropping that jab. He's not bringing it back up. So I'd keep a, a, an eye out for that right hand from Sean Porter, guys. Jordan, thank you very much. Uh, you know, Sean comes in, there's his father, Kenny. By the way, uh, most of the fighters tonight, Joey Spencer, Sebastian Fondora, Sean Porter, the A-side, all trained by their fathers. And uh, Kenny Porter said, hey, I want more better footwork from Sean. I want him to cut off the ring as he is just muscling up. And a good hook by Sean Porter there on Formella. But, uh, Joe, it used to be that the father-trainer thing, jab, you tried to stay jab. away from. It's happening stop, all around stop, boxing stop, now, isn't it? I agree 100%. You used to see it mm -hmm. a lot in the amateurs because, you know, when they're kids, who's going to take them around but parents? So, yeah. But basically, when they would turn pro, they turn them over to the pro trainers. But, you know, you don't see that as much. But, uh, look, I mean, you've got some great father trainers in this game. And Kenny uh, Porter is one of them, uh, believe me. Yeah, and it, I think it's worked. I mean, yeah. I mean, yes. Lomachenko, you've see, you know, you see it all around uh, uh -huh. where, where it's actually working and the relationships are good, too, yeah. because as we know, a lot of times the relationship will suffer. Beautiful hook by Sean Porter again. 
Yeah, I agree with that. Sometimes the relationship can suffer, and there's been some bad situations with Father in some situations. That's right. Digging in body shots. Porter, brutal stuff there to the body with the right hand. And you can see it's Formella's wincing and ducking down towards his left side. Formella now up against the ropes, getting backed up, trying to fight back. Back to the body attack is Porter. He blocked a lot of those shots. Yeah, but when, when you're throwing so many body shots and you just throw one jab to get out, you know, it's not looking good for him on the judges. Judges are looking at them saying, hey, Porter seems like the more busy uh, boxer in there, and he's definitely scoring the points and winning this round. Yeah, and what Porter's doing right on the inside, uppercuts and hooks and backing him up. Right, hard right hand to the body. But you got you got to give uh, Formella credit just by even throwing back there to, to through that little escape route off the ropes. But that said, Porter's starting to go up the middle now because the kid keeps his hands up Formella so well that he's blocking a lot of the wide shots. So Pashant's going up the middle and doing a great job of it. Looking like a pro, baby. We go to the corners. Looking really and good. And let's hear from Kenny Porter. Looking really good. Breathe. We know what kind of condition we're in. We built to punish this dude. We built for this. We built to punish him. Use your jab to set things up. Use your face to set things up. Try that big hook too, okay? When you're on the ropes, feign him. The hands here, try to come around with the hook, right? Overhand right again. If you miss it, slow into your movement, okay? Just slow into your movements. Offense and defense work the other. Boxing beautiful. Swallow. Swallow. Kenny Porter very calm there in the corner. And back to that point, I mean, when you think about it and how well it is working, so many father-son combinations. I mean, we're talking Vasily Lomachenko, Teofimo Lopez, Danny Garcia as well. We know Angel yeah. Garcia is very prominent yeah. and vocal. Leo Santa Cruz and Sean Porter. I, yeah. I mean, just it's Joe. I'm just saying, it seems to be working. It's it's better. Maybe it's a generational thing, Gee. but it's working better these days. Gee, my days are numbered. It looks like uh, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the dads are taking over. <laughs> Joe breaking some news earlier that he'll be working with uh, Vito Milnicki. Yeah, I, I've actually got a father giving me his uh, son to right. train. So that's there's an example, They're right? And, and his dad is an experienced boxing. Yeah, player. he is. Uh, he want he wants his son to go next level, and he's going to you, Joe. Yeah, I listen. Well, I, congratulations. Thank you so much. I, I can't wait to get to work with the with Vito Jr. That's for sure. Great family, and the father. I, I'm glad he trusts me. Hardworking kid. Yeah. Round number seven here. Sean Porter, Sebastian Formella. As Jordan Plant mentioned, Formella just get, getting broken down in a lot of ways, but comporting himself professionally, making his best effort, yeah. even if he's losing most every round, if not every single round. Yeah, Sean Porter was uh, able to uh, throw a couple of good straight rights in that round and caught Formella on the chin. But look what Formel is doing, though, Brian. He's really, he's going, okay, but I'm going to track you down right now. He just, you know, I mean, Sean gave him the ability to track him down, but Formella's not running away from a fight here. He's not. He's not, he's not busy enough. He needs to be a little bit more busier, especially with the jab, or even come back with some nice power combinations. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of in a little um, wave of energy. Porter can smell it, he can feel it. When he lands one shot and backs him up, then he brings even more pressure, which he just did over those last 15 seconds. Yeah, body I'm... shot again by Porter, right hand to the body. Formella pretty good at blocking those shots. He is, and he's also absorbing the, the punishment that he's that's he, he is being meted out to him pretty well. Until we see him get wobbled or dropped or something like that, he's standing up to most of this. He's just not offering a lot back. Porter is teeing up now, multiple uppercuts and hooks, but he answers with the right hand. Formella is actually able to land that right hand, yeah. and taking all that punishment. Exactly. Well, he's starting to get nailed, though. Yeah, uh, any, any time he, he's, he throws a punch, he's getting nailed. Ready, show the gap. Stop, stop, my break. Porter Keep outlanding Formella 172 to 82, and in power punches 122 to 37. So it's a wide discrepancy, and he's Porter is obviously also, as Marcos Villegas punched, uh, pointed out, uh, yes. Porter is punching harder. Oh yeah. Stop, Formella. stop, separate, box. You know, Sean Porter saying. 
you know, I know I'm better than this guy, and you know that I'm in a different league, but, you know, that's on paper. Sometimes you show up at the ring, and it doesn't quite work out that way. You have to make that happen in the ring. Back up on his toes. The feints, the movement, the jabbing, and a beautiful snap jab. Look at this guy. Order with the hook, leaping left hook. And a beautiful end to that round for Sean Porter. Showing the style and the skill up on his toes with jabs and hooks. Let's take a look, fellas. All right, well, let's see. There's that jab you've been talking about, Lennox. Great jab. Uh-huh. And then Formella comes back. There's the right hand he got countered That's with early on in the round. That's I was talking yeah. about. Go ahead, Lennox. Anytime Take he these. throws it straight, he's going to have a better connection. Well, how about these uppercuts? Or Here the comes a good right hook. This is where he's rushing, roughing him up inside. This is what he needs to do. And he's got one hand free, so hit him with it. But I tell you, that combo right here in the corner at the end of the uh, round was amazing. Sean came in with a double hook and a left uppercut and landed everything. These are the body punches that slow you down. You can't move too much when you're getting body punches like this. The only thing with Formella, he needs to come back. Good left hook by Sean. Yeah, here's where he backed him up into the corner. There's that lead left hand. And then look, Formella tried to counter with a little chopper. And there goes Sean, another hook, another hook. And then he's going to go up the middle with one, I believe, right. Well, probably happened already, but he did go up the middle with that one left hand. The leaping left hook. Floyd Patterson and Ingemar Johansson, Joe Goosen. Yeah, well, you know, Sean's just a, he's, he's a, you know, just a mass of muscle. And, you know, he's got tremendous explosion from the toes, you know, to, to the top of his head. And uh, he's a great it's, athlete. It's, 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 but think of the repertoire, though. I mean, a leaping left hook after he, he's up on his toes and then kind of classic jab, you know, snap to the head. I mean, he's really showing, I think, a lot of versatility tonight. Yeah, part of the, when he throws that left hook, he's in range. It, it pushes the other guy back. And yet, when he, when, he, when he stops, he's in position for punching. So that's what he does. Pumping out the jab in right hand, Sean Porter. By the way, I mentioned Floyd Patterson. Floyd and his son, Tracy Patterson, the first father-son championship combination. See, that's the footwork I'm talking about from Sean. You know, he's got that quick footwork. He gets you right back to the ropes and then do some damage. I like your uh, little fun fact there, Brian, with the uh, Pattersons. I've got lots of fun facts, Jeff. <laughs> but that, I've actually, I've, I've looked back, uh, you know, through the years doing the you know, classic ringsides, and uh, again, Floyd Patterson, an undersized heavyweight, yeah. would, would get incredible power from his hook. And not many guys will, will not many guys will, will jump out of their shoes and throw a hook. Stop, no, stop, you're break. right. And, and, stop and Floyd, break. back in the 80s, the mid-80s, right. and Tracy Harris Patterson is, his son were at my gym and trained there, and I had the pleasure of meeting him. Class all the way. Yeah. Oh, Floyd yeah. and, and right. Tracy, absolutely. Oh, that's right. And I'm just trying to think. I think our, our, our executive producer here, uh, 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 Tom McNeely's father, fought Floyd Patterson. That's right, Brian. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, Floyd on the way up. And was, was that his pro debut? This Could have been. This this was not his pro debut. Good mixing it up by Formella early on. Strafing right hand by Sean Porter here in round number eight. The amazing thing is, at least oh, surviving. sorry, right? Here in the no, here in round eight, I'll yeah. say this: yeah. I didn't think we'd be in round eight. Exactly. Well. You know, I mean, again, we, we studied uh, Formella's tapes, and he's really durable, and, you know, he's he's got a lot of grit, and look, he's fighting back. I, I love I, I love the performance he's putting on, even though he is outgunned and outclassed tonight. Yeah, he knows he has to he has to win these couple rounds. He, you know, he, I'm sure his corner said something to him and said, listen, you need to step, step it up. And as you can see, he's, he's moving forward, but he's not doing anything. Final seconds now of round eight. Sebastian Formella hanging in, trying to hang with one of the best welterweights in the world. He can't wait to show the world that he's the truth. Oh, I, I think this is going to be, I mean, Danny Garcia and Errol Spence, it's going to be a great fight. They're oh, both great. Both great fighters. Yeah. 
Should be outstanding when the top guys fight. Special things happen. Sean Porter wants the winner of that fight. He has made that very, very clear. By the way, it was uh, April 1961 with Floyd Patterson going in against Big Tom McNeely. Now, we, we, know, we, know, we know Tom McNeely, but there's Big Tom McNeely. And, and, and also, you have to remember Tom's younger brother, Peter McNeely, who fought 25 years ago, almost to the day, Mike Tyson. Was it that long ago? Yeah, can you believe that? Oh my. I said that to Tom the other day. I go, can you believe 25 years has already blown by? Just it's the cocoon of horror. Remember that? No one talked a better pre-fight game than Peter McNeely. Let me tell you that. <laughs> the co cocoon when you of step <laughs> in my cocoon of horror. <laughs> 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 Round nine here, by the way. Sean Porter, Sebastian Formella as they take the foot off the gas just a bit. But uh, Sean Porter showing, I, I would just say, Lennox Lewis, different dimensions here tonight. He is. I mean, he's showing that he's a true professional. I mean, he's got so much experience behind him. He knows what to do, and he feels very comfortable out there. And he's, you know, he's doing what he needs to do. Yeah, talk about time passing by quick. We're already in the ninth round here, and and uh, Formella is still active and participating in this, and he's uh, managed to stay on his feet, not get really rocked badly. He's been getting hit, but he's he's Joe, absorbing it well. Joe, how about that combination, the right to the body and hook to the head? Yeah, yeah. That, that's, I mean, again, we're talking about high-level stuff that is, you have to be committed to that combination, don't you? You really do. And um, look, it's it's not that it, that isn't done a lot, but you're, you're exactly right. To throw that hook right off that right hand of the body is not easy because you're also being vulnerable yourself to a left hook when you come out of there to try to throw your own left hook from going down to up, you know, you guys will time that. They know what's coming. Sean Porter wanted to work on different things in this fight. Wanted to work on cutting off the ring. Didn't want to be chasing guys around because he knows when he gets back to the highest, highest level, if it's Spence, if it's Garcia, if it's Pacquiao, if it's Thurman, whoever it is, uh, he's got to be just a bit better and be a little more sophisticated. And it looks like his boxing IQ is capable of that from what we've seen tonight. Oh, I agree with that. His boxing IQ is way up there. Like I said, he's top shelf and he's doing the right things and he can work on different things. Anything he wants to do in there, he can do right now. Let me just add, if I were in the corner though, and I were in Sean's corner, I would not want this to be a distance fight. I'd really be encouraging him to go for a knockout in the next two rounds. Porter trying with the uppercut. Formella able to get out of the way. He's moved his head nicely, just enough to dodge disaster. And Lennox, we've seen uh, Porter in, in a lot of different ways. Boxing from the outside, roughing him up on the inside. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a bully sometimes, you know. This is this is where you got to rough it up when a guy's just trying to cover up. You got to be a bully. You got to push him. You got to bump him. You got to hit him to the body. Got to hit him on different angles because that's what Porter's done. He's really outworking him. And you can tell by the punch count. Yeah, you know, but he's very he's very versatile, though, Lennox. And look, there he is from a distance. Double jab. He's going to chop that right hand. Just grazes Formella. Formella tries to come back with the right hand to no avail. But, uh, you know, Sean, Sean's very versatile. He really is. And that's why he's been a two-time welterweight champion of the world. Sharp on defense. When you're turning in them corners, make your moves quick. You know, Sean Porter does not have a stoppage this late in his career. Now, uh, there's a lot of ways of looking at that. He's also, like, against a guy like Paulie Malinaji, who's able to, and that was later in Paulie's career, but a guy who is a, a good boxer, uh, but Sean got him out early, so I don't want that to be held against him, but I, I think he it would be something new for him and I think satisfying Joe Goosen if he was able to, to now, you know, slap it into sixth gear and get this guy out. Yeah, you know, for, for various reasons, if you're in the corner, you know, you're going to say, okay, who's this guy from Germany that's here? He's 22-0. and 0, He's never fought anybody. Why is he going the distance with my fight? You know, you kind of don't like that as a trainer. Uh, so I would, if I were in his corner, Sean, I'd be saying, hey, look, stop, you know, giving this guy any more room. Get in there and put the full court press on. Try to knock him out. At least try to knock him out. You're not going to get hurt doing it, so why not try it?
Uh, those were, by the way, the last few seconds, some tremendous jabs from Porter to the body, and one that just took Formella, like, had to backpedal to, to recover from it. Yeah, he's got to spend the whole three minutes trying to press uh, Formella, you know, <laughs> instead of, like, having these long pauses in between. There's no reason to do that. The fight's gone his way the whole way here, and that's what he should do. And he should just jump back on second and third time. Go and do it again and again and again. You're in shape. We're at the end of the fight. Yeah, I, I agree with you to a point. I mean, sometimes you want to you want to get the most out of the fight and try different things. I think he's doing that. He's doing what he wants. I mean, I'm sure he's going to step it up in the last round, last two rounds. Let's get word from the corner. Jordan Plant was there with Kenny Porter. Jordan? Yeah, Brian, I asked Kenny. All right, Kenny. It's, this fight's going a lot longer than you expected, I'm sure. What does Sean need to do to stop it? And he said, hey, Carmelo's taking some big punches. Yeah. As you see right now, that big flurry. And he wasn't really saying they're going for the knockout. He just said Carmelo's a rough guy. He might get it right here, Jordan. I tell you what, digging to the shots. Formella in surviving mode, trying to stay in there, throws a right hand, trying to keep Porter at bay. He absorbed a lot of punishment in the last 20 seconds. It seems like Sean agreed with me there, Brian. <laughs> yeah. And why wouldn't he, Jeff? Well, I mean, because I, I think he's he understands no, no, Sean, that, too. That's you, you, you know, let you, your arms go, Sean. You know, Work out of it. you don't stop, want stop. to say Formella well, went say the go. distance with you. That's all there is to it. Right. And, and while yeah. while you can look back at it and say there are some beautiful moments here for Sean. Yeah. Not, this shouldn't be. I, I'm, it's not even close to being a disappointment at any level. No. But you're right. You would want a spectacular ending to the night. Exactly. And he this, almost had this. it there, too. I don't know why he took his foot off the gas that last 30, 40 seconds. When guys come at you like that and they spill their load, you got to come back at them. You know, uh, Famella didn't come back at uh, Sean Porter one bit, so allowed him to look good. Well, he's a little busted up, yeah. Lennox, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I mean, he's probably happy there was a delay, uh, you know, a little break Stop. for Formella. Porter with the explosion in that round, but Sebastian Formella is still here. Oh, yeah, you see a left uppercut by Porter. Great punch. And you see a nice body shot. Good reaction by Famello. And there you see a little elbow by Porter, but he didn't mean it. He was actually he was bringing with, his arm yeah, back to, drew a to throw a punch. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But I got to tell you, those body shots were wicked. You could see the expression on Formella's face. Those things were really digging in deep. Now, Porter's got two more rounds to end this fight. Uh, well, he should at least make a big effort this round. And 11. Yeah, I believe he will, he will make a big effort. He banged him up pretty good last round, Lennox. And you, and you can see Formella is, is, is just sucking in that air, trying to get as much oxygen as he can into his lungs to get some energy here. Round 11, it's been all Sean Porter, who, by the way, uh, has just broken his own personal record for punches landed in a fight. He's landed 250 through 10 rounds. The previous record was against Keith Thurman. Wow. 236, hard to land 236 on Keith Thurman. How about that? You ain't kidding. It's amazing. And he made the point, too, when he was looking at uh, his tapes and the feature that we had earlier, fellas, and he said, hey, at that time, you know, Keith Thurman was backing up everybody because there was a time right after when Floyd Mayweather went away, Keith Thurman looked like he was the man in the division and by a good distance. And that was tooth and nail with Sean Porter doubling up on the jab, hooks to the body, more beautiful work. Well, that's, what, Porter. that's why they called him one well, time. Said, Stop. Thurman, Stop. you know, Turn look, I mean, yeah. I, again, I'm, I'm impressed with Formella and we kind of, you know, gave him that benefit of the doubt that he could take this fight deep. And he's done that, although I, I don't know if I could give him a round in this whole fight. Right. Uh, he's he's tried hard. He's had a few little moments here and there. But for the, like that right there, a great jab right hand. But, you know, it, it's been all Sean Porter here. And all the way, every round, almost every second of every round. And another beautiful jab by Porter. But, no, Joe, you were on it from the start, showing respect to Formella. And it takes an yeah. enormous amount of experience and skill to be able to box this way against someone who is this athletic and this strong and this experienced. Exactly. And, and you know, Sean looks like he's as great a shape as he's ever been in.
And I, I just think he looks smarter and smarter every time I see him come out to fight, especially, I mean, that uh, if you weren't impressed with him against the Spence fight, Sean Porter, and how he performed and how his camp had a great game plan, I mean, you'll never believe in him. But I, I think Sean Porter is much smarter than people give credit for. I think Sean, he showed bring that right hand his up, body man. work here. Formella trying to block a few of those, but a few seconds ago, he was unable to block those body shots. Uh, amazing that he's able to take at, this type of punishment. And look at Formella coming back, though. He just pushed Sean back. You know, he's standing oh, his ground. He's, you know what I mean? you got to give this yeah. guy credit. Stop, stop, yeah. No, it's head. amazing. Stop, You're right. He actually moved Sean Locks. back after he took all those shots. You better take a, you better take a dozen pictures with him, uh, Lennox. No, I'm going to okay. get him. You know, he's coming all the way across the ocean and coming to America to fight. It's, it's uh, got to be difficult for him because, yeah. you know, yeah. even the air around here is different. He, he seems yeah. like he's sucking air. That means the air is heavy for him. He's in, he's in great shape. And look, I, I, I got to give him credit. He's a brave, brave man. And he's determined. And he's put up a great fight. And all respect to Formella. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. Well put, fellas. Glad we got that in, too. Yeah. Show respect to an international competitor while also acknowledging that Porter has looked wow. brilliant, have a drink, has boxed beautifully, and has had his game plan change in many different areas. Let's go to the corners and we'll listen in. I see him being hurt enough for you to just... No, you, you, you can work. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can work. Yeah. Work work where you want to work at. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, he's going to struggle and he's going to fight. He's, he's, he wants to make it through this so he can say, I made the distance, right? Is dominate the round. Yes, sir. You get him, you hurt him, and you want to keep coming with it, keep coming with it. When you got to go on defense, go on defense. Yes, sir. Good. We're going home early. We're going home tonight. We're going home to see the wife and kids. So that's uh. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to lange für uns and also panel. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Last round. Final round, can Sebastian Formella go the distance? You heard what? Kenny That's Porter in the corner. Back last saying, Look, this guy just wants to go the distance with you. And Sean Porter uh, wanted to come back and come back with a splash. Uh, but you could say he did that whether he gets this guy out of there or not. Final round, 12th round here for a title eliminator with Sean Porter and Sebastian Formella. And, and what Kenny Porter was really saying without saying it was he wants to go the distance. Don't let him. Yeah, I agree. Final round, let's see if Sean Porter can close the show Ooh, yeah, on the attack, but Formella able to spin out, throw his own shots, and establish a little bit of room. Yeah, but he better keep those hands up. Your Sean's got that leaping Lena left hook right now, and he's uh, all jacked up, ready to take this kid out, so Formella better be on his toes if he doesn't want to get knocked out. It was Ingemar Johansson's foot that was that was quivering stop, stop. after that knockout. Ring? Remember, he thought on your toes. <laughs> Classic newsreel footage. Off his Knocked toes. Out cold. <laughs> yes, off his toes and foot fluttering. And Formella just land, landed a, a little right hand there, Brian. I yeah, mean, but there know, was no power behind. No, of course not. But I'm just saying, he's not giving up. He's not a quitter. And look, he's trying to win. Yeah. Exchanges, he, you know. He, he's boxing professionally, Joe. Yeah. No question. And he's and look, he throws an uppercut. He's trying to hurt Sean Porter. He's doing. He's giving everything he can. Let's go to Marcos Viegas. And Marcos, can you give him a round? No. At, at this point, unfortunately, not. I, I, it's been Sean Porter the whole way through. And every time Formella does well, just Sean Porter outworks him. Formella will land a jab, land a right hand, and then he'll get into a position where Sean Porter just unloads on him like we're seeing right now with uppercuts and a variety of other punches. I have Sean up big in this fight, winning every single round so far. Yeah, I, Marcos, you're right. I don't think you could find a round for Formella. It doesn't uh, occur to me. And, and, and he also has a good chin. I mean, he's, he's eaten a lot of good shots. There's a lot of great guys out there that have not uh, reacted uh, as strongly as Formella getting hit with those shots from Sean Porter. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Final minute of round number 12. Good work. Sean Porter has looked sensational at times. And I'm sure it'll be viewed many different ways. But I thought Sean Porter, as I mentioned earlier, you know, showed the ring IQ. 
And then Joe, you mentioned that he's fighting a smart fight and just working it's, on different things that will yeah. help him when he gets back to the super fight level. And, and, and Bry, he's been out of the ring for quite some time. It's actually, you know, like I said, 11 and a half rounds would have been perfect. But if he gets the 12 rounds this, in this. after all this time off, it's probably a darn good workout that he needed. Final 20 seconds. Look, it's never boring. You know, like, there's, there's, there are no fans here, but I think he, no matter where we would be, there'd be nobody even grumbling watching this fight. Exciting action here from top to bottom. Sean Porter still on the attack. Formella final seconds. We'll give it Stop. what's left. I break. Maybe shall we go? And that's go. it. 12 hard yeah. rounds. And great work for Sebastian Formella. And inspired work for Sean Porter as he gets back into the ring first time since his big fight with Errol Spence. Sean Porter, Sebastian Formella, and Formella told us this week, look, I never give up. I've weathered big storms. I've won late rounds. I don't know if he won a single round in this fight, but he made a good account of himself against a withering attack from Sean Porter, who brought it uh, at a multitude of levels. In boxing skill, in just general bullying, as Lennox Lewis said, in mauling him on the inside, outboxing him from the outside. And this was a career high in punches thrown for Sean Porter. 785, career high in punches landed as well, 304. And yet, Sebastian Formella never left his feet, but was hurt here and there, but never actually rocked or stumbling. So you can just give kudos to both fighters. Let's get the decision yep. now and go to Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored about 120 to 108. All three in favor of the winner of an IBF world title eliminator. And now the WBC silver welterweight champion, Showtime, Sean Porter. It was a whitewash. Yeah. Sean Porter uh, rightly wins every single round from all three judges. Uh, again, he had moments of brilliance in this fight. This was a title eliminator. He would love to take on the winner of Spence and Danny Garcia, get a rematch possibly with Spence or a rematch with Garcia. If he, he awaits the winner of Spence and Danny Garcia. Sean Porter standing by with our own Jordan Plant. Jordan. Yes, thank you, Sean. Congratulations, dominant performance. You won every round. You really punished Formello. Were you surprised with how tough he was? He showed a lot of heart. He was tough. I think after about six rounds, my dad said, okay, he's he's taking these punches and he's gonna keep taking them. So keep uh, keep the pressure on him and, and, and keep dogging him. Well, you showed you're in great conditioning yeah. as normal. Now, you told me that no one deserves the winner of Errol Spence versus Danny Garcia more than you. I want you to look in that camera right there and send a message to them. That one right there. Right here. And still, I'm still here, baby. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs>